Hello beautiful people, I want to try this tutorial from Pixel Perfect today to add patterns on a shirt or to any clothing. I will use a photo of Harvey Van Lista, my all-time favorite model, for my tutorial. I had my previous tutorial of her, which was how to change a white dress to any color. The link is on the top right in order for you to see the full video. So let's start. I already opened her photo and a pattern I want to use for her blouse or shirt. So let's start with the pattern. You can see the background layer that we're going to work on. To select the pattern, we will use the color range tool. Click select tool from the menu bar and click color range. Please note, I tried this function before filming so the value is already saved, so please be attentive. On the color range panel, click the sample colors option. Then select grayscale on selection preview. Use the eyedropper tool and click the white area. The purpose of this is to select the black area, it will be converted to transparent pattern and we will use it afterward, and the white area will be deselected. Adjust the fuzziness to the range, you can see the pattern in black. In my case, I set the localized color clusters into 22. And click OK. You can see on the screen the selected pattern. Now, we will create a new fill by clicking the circle icon and select solid color and set it in white color and click OK. Now, hold command key and press A to select all. Then, click edit and select define pattern. I renamed it into tile 1 and click OK. Click the eye icon to hide the background layer. Now, we will go back to our main photo. What we will do is to select the part of the clothing we will add the pattern. In this case, I use the quick selection tool. Remember, in Photoshop, there are many different tools to do the selection. It depends on you which tool you are comfortable to use. This time, we will create a new fill by clicking the circle icon and select solid color. I use the eyedropper to match the color of the blouse to her purse. Set the blending mode into multiply. Multiply mode looks at the color information in each channel and multiplies the base color by the blend color. The result color is always a darker color. The next step we will do is to create another solid color. This time, we will choose a lighter color. We will use this to give some highlights to the clothing. So, right-click the color field to and select blending options. In blending options, adjust the blending color by dragging the slider to the right side. To blend the colors, hold the Option key and click the slider to separate it. Then you can adjust both sides to blend it. Now let's group both color fill layers by dragging it to the folder icon. Then click the arrow down on the folder to show the layers. Drag color fill one above the group one folder. Rename the folder in order for us to organize it. The next process I am using are the Curves and Blending Options tools. The Curves command is the most powerful tool for adjusting tones to brighten, darken, add contrast, and shift colors, yet many users choose to avoid it. The problem is, despite being the most effective, it's also one of the most difficult commands to get to grips with. In Blending Options, we will just only work on the underlying layer. To blend the color, hold the Option key and click the slider to separate it. Then you can adjust both sides to blend it. Here, we will group the layers, curves, and colors by dragging it to the folder icon. Then, rename the folders accordingly for your reference. So now, we will select a pattern. In the pattern field, we will click the arrow down to show the default patterns and scroll down to find the pattern that we did a while ago. So, to adjust the pattern, we have to hide the printed t-shirt layer by holding the shift key and press the printed t-shirt layer. So, click the pattern fill arrow down to show the pattern fill panel, then click the scale and adjust the pattern according to your preference. Then, right click Pattern Fill and select Rasterize Layer. Click the Market tool and create a square around the area of the shirt with enough space.
So we have the pattern layer created, so we don't need the pattern fill one layer. We can delete it then. So this time we will create another solid color to give color to our shirt. We will click the color fill 3 and layer 1 by holding option key and click in between the layers to clip them together. We will convert the layer 1 into a smart object. Smart objects preserve an image source content with all its original characteristics, enabling you to perform non-destructive editing to the layer. And now, let's blend the pattern layer and adjust it accordingly. You can see here that there are flows. We have to adjust our pattern according to the folds and flow of our shirt in order to look realistic. Click the Move tool in order for us to move the pattern layer. What we use in this process are the Distort, Screw, and Warp tools. I did is to clean up the edges. I use clone stamp tool to fill the edges with the adjacent color or texture. this video without a trivia. Photoshop was created in 1988 by brothers Thomas and John Lowe. The software was originally developed in 1987 by the Knoll brothers and then was sold to Adobe Systems Incorporated in 1988. The program started a simple solution for displaying graceful images on monochrome displays. After some encouragement from John, the brothers both took a break from work and school to build a full image editing program. This last part of the video, I would like to dedicate to our dearest members who are supporting our channel through joining our membership perks. And I hope you will continue supporting us. If you have knowledge, let others like the candles in it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. See you in the next video. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Bye.